Okay, hear me out. Exodia Sword Soul? Game one. We have Exodia and some Sword Soul cards, but what is Diffusion Wave Motion doing here? Let's ignore that for now. We're up against Blue Eyes, and they summon a few monsters and search a jet before ending their turn. We pull a Sword Soul Emergence off the top, which is a very good draw. Now we can use Long One to set up our own. Let's destroy their monster, which I totally didn't mistake for Dictator of D, and prevent the Jet Dragon from coming down. Now we can try to execute our plan. Grab a copy of Taya and Synchro Summon for Qi Zhao. Taya gets to send a particular worm monster to the graveyard, and Qi Zhao finds a Sacred Summit, which we will use right away to summon Bird of Paradise Lost. Since this bird worm is a tuner, we meet the requirements to summon Phantasmal Lord, Ultimatal Bishbalkin. This guy is actually banned now, which, now that I think of it, might be a little my fault. But anyway, using his ability, we can fill both fields with tokens. So why would we want to fill our opponent's entire board? Well, you'll find out soon enough. Now link into the Dark Charmer, summon one of the opponent's monsters, and link summon for Saryuja, Skull Dread. Let's go digging, and there's our secret win condition. Exodius, the ultimate forbidden lord. He can be special summoned by shuffling all monsters from our graveyard back into the deck. And if he attacks five times and sends all five pieces of Exodia to the graveyard, we instantly win the game. <laughs> I win. Which is where Diffusion Wave Motion comes into play. By paying a thousand life points, we can let Exodius attack all monsters our opponent controls. <laughs> That's the Exodius win. Game 2. Oof, our opponent set up a pretty big Utopia board, but that's nothing a little droplet can't fix. We draw a piece of Exodia, which isn't super helpful, but hopefully we can still win. Let's use Ecclesia to summon a Moye. Our opponent summons a monster, but I don't really care how big it is. Let's Synchro Summon for Qi Zhao, draw another Exodius, and use the Emergence we just grabbed to search for Taya. Taya can synchro up to Geomathmic Magma, and we can use both to go up to Bishbalkin once again. Fill the board with tokens, and we're in a bit of a predicament. We're still missing a combo piece, and we can't get into Saryuja with only three monsters. But maybe this right arm will come in handy after all. Uh, no pun intended. Unsubscribe. We can use a token to summon Link Spider, and use its effect to summon a normal monster from our hand. That's four monsters for Saryuja, and we pull off a Diffusion Wave Motion. Excellent, we can finally go attacking. One, two, three, four, five. The opponent tries to pull some shenanigans, but since the effect happens on attack declaration, we can still win as long as we save their 6,000 attack monster for last. Game three. We're up against Branded Bestial this time, and we have the Exodia combo. So let's get started with Long One Max C, huh? If you're familiar with this channel, you know I love all hand traps equally. I don't care for Max C. They don't pull the trigger on Mirror Jade yet, so we can summon Baron and set up a negate. Let's try to destroy their face down, they activate it in response, and no good fusion targets, okay? We can play Emergence and go for our Taya combo. And they draw into Nibiru! Really glad they let us summon Baron. But they finally pull the trigger on Mirror Jade and banish... Baron. I guess from their perspective it has more attack points? They could have stopped our combo, but no one could see the Exodius Bish Balkan play coming, I guess. So down comes Exodius, Diffusion Wave Motion, and... There's another win. So how many times did we actually manage to win with Exodius? <laughs> well...
clearly we got the Exodius win a good number of times. Some opponents were gracious and let us swing in, while others were not. And would you look at that, we have just enough time for... Game 4. Our opponent is playing heroes this time, and they fusion summon a bunch. <laughs> well, we can start up old reliable. Ecclesia, Moye, Chi Zhao, Taya, and summon a token. Now we could try to draw into Exodius again, but let's show off another one of our backup plans. Use Taya and the token to Synchro Summon Enlightenment Paladin. This guy can deal damage to the opponent equal to the attack of a monster he destroys. More importantly though, he is a spellcaster, so he works with a certain spell card we've been using. Now we can summon Bishbalkin and fill the field with potential attack targets. We just have one more thing left to do. Use a token to summon Link Spider, and Link Summon again to bring out Pentastag. Since we remembered to put our Paladin in the correct zone, Pentastag gives him piercing damage so we can trample over the tokens and win the game. If you made it this far, remember to leave a like and subscribe. Maybe check out the last Silly Strats episode where we deleted our opponent's hand with windups. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.